Adam Heigel, a former Bedford Township Supervisor. Um, at the last meeting, <clears throat> I was interrupted. Um, the Open Meetings Act was violated by the chair here. Um, I was very appreciative from Mr. Smith when he did tag me in his post that um, just wanted to share that with you. So what I was talking about at last meeting was that a lot of the residents might not be aware of some of the things that have happened in our road department, wasteful spending, things like driveways of people being paved. Mr. Frisbee decided to say that I had to sit down from this podium and, and interrupt me from speaking because I was slandering people and telling lies. May 27, 2020, extremely disappointed to hear about the asphalt situation in Burlington Township while the contractor who allowed a crew use public resources to pave a private drive. It has been rectified the situation internally. They're uh, going to have a hard time gaining the trust of this commissioner on future projects. Okay, so thank you, Mr. Smith, for uh, alerting me to that again, because I knew that it was there, because I knew that this situation was real, and the people and the public already knew about this. So it's frustrating, again, to see this disconnect from this board. The, the, the way that you control things is disgusting. Technology, for example, here. I mean, this whole setup is a separation, you know, a, a display here. We're like, we're supposed to come here and, and look at you all up on this display like you're something different or better in some capacity. But that's not true. You all have this voting system. I don't understand why you have this technology here when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven names to get called off to vote. How long does that take? About 30 seconds, maybe? The only reason I would see technology like at, at the State House, because they have hundred some people to vote, right? That makes sense to have it, not with a yay or nay voice call every time. But you all have how much money into this technology here, but you have to sit here now and, and interrupt me while I'm speaking. I don't even know how long I have left because you can't have technology to have one little sign here with a, with a timer on it. Again, this is all things that point to how you are separate and don't understand your duties, your oath that you took to the Constitution to not trample on my rights or any of these rights for any of these people. And, and, and the fact that you know every single one of these people coming up here by name. Nobody else wants to come here and address you. They know that they're not going to get anywhere. It's been a pattern for too long. Ten, so, we need to change up. that. Your time is up. Yeah. Thank you. So let's please get a, a display of a clock. I mean, that would be a pretty simple solution. Maybe you guys make that happen. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Adam. Hello again. Um, yeah, uh, Mr. Schatz is right. We have a, a pretty serious lack of oversight and accountability in not just like your board, but all of our local boards. Um, part of it is when we address you as a board, you can't even look at us. We just look down, play on our phone or whatever we're going to do. We just continue to play and look down. Because it doesn't matter what we say. Steve Frisbee, the chair, Mr. Mr. Chairman, since you're the one to be addressed here. There you go, you can look up now, that's fantastic. No, you don't care what we say here. I'm listening. You, you, you didn't though, you're playing on your phone or you're doing something else, that's the whole thing. Mr. Schatz stood up here and talked and you didn't look up at him once until you told him 10 seconds left or whispered 10 seconds left. It's, it's just dis, it's disrespectful. And again, I mean, we have this warped sense of reality here and it's not just here, it's every county I've been in now, where, where we're just supposed to respect you all because you've been elected and you're in this position and you sit up there on this grand stage. And it's just, it's just gone too far. It has been. And so many people, even some people here then, that get upset 
because people do this and say these things to address you, but it's reality. Our world, our infrastructure, everything's crumbling. It's crumbling because we've had cronyism going on in this community for far too long. Cronyism. Deals going on with friends and systems and organizations that overlap each other and leaders that are in, in this board and that board and, oh, you get elected, you get on every single board you can to have more power, more influence. The system of political power of control over the people. But again, it's our, it's our fault, we the people's fault. Because people don't know their actual rights. They don't know their actual duty as Americans to live free and self-governed, not controlled by you, local boards, that we now deem as leaders in the community. But you're not leaders, you're representatives that have a duty to serve the community, not to control. It's just been lost. It, it's, it's lost, and it needs to change. Again, hopefully someone will say something and, and we can have, I mean, I see it on your board every time you vote. It says time remaining, but I don't see a time remaining a timer on there. If, if we don't know how to use that technology that you have, I will help you for free. I offered my service to put a, a timer on, on the board for us. I mean, that would be great. I, I will do that. Thank you. Your Thank time you. Is up.